Hi, it's summertime and it's time to go someplace nice. One place that's been really nice for me the last few years is Siskiyou Lake, which is right by the town of Mount Shasta City. It's sort of like north of Reading, about an hour north of Reading, along I-5, the interstate. If you live in the coast, it's a good place to go inland to, to warm up where you have a nice lake to swim in. If you live in somewhere like Reading or in the valley, it's a place to go to where it's not so hot, but still nice and warm. And the town has plenty of good restaurants, a movie theater, and um, good places to eat, and a lot of neat, wild activities around there. Yeah, turn left at the stop sign which takes you to the lake instead of right, which takes you to the city. Um, by July, the temperature in the lake usually warms up enough, so it's a nice place to swim. It's not a lake that has <coughs> water skiers. There's a speed limit there. So it's a lake where someone might kayak or canoe or, you know, in the water and play around, and kids play around where there's a nice beach and they have paddle boards there for rent and stuff like that. So it's sort of like a family place it's where the large group camps, families have reunions, churches have meetings, and they also rent out cabins and RVs and other places to stay. It's not just go. camping, but they do have nice sites that have space, and they do have nice hot showers and things to make it so sort of civilized. And from the campsite to the town to a restaurant, it's about a five-mile drive. Not that there is a restaurant inside the campground if you didn't want to make that drive and wanted to have a meal there. After this stop, you make another left turn to continue on the way there towards Siskiyou Lake. And it's somewhere you go by the Mount Shasta Resort, which is a nice um, hotel and golf course and other activities. If you have kids with you, they have like outdoor kids movies at 8 p.m. They have a, they rotate different nights. There's a listing in the store of what's going to be what night. So it's something they might want to do to be entertained. And also, and this is the first view of the lake. And then you cross the dam and drive around it. Not that there's other places you could stop and go in the lake. There's a road around part of the lake and there's a hiking trail all around the lake. But I usually go to Reynolds Resort at Siskiyou Lake and camp there and use their beach. And, um, and this is the road going there. Up to the left is a road to Castle Lake, which will go there the next day. And the right is a parking area for people that want to just go to the lake, but not go to the resort or pay any sort of fees. They, they can park there and go in there. But this road goes on around the lake a little bit. This is the first lake in California made for recreation, which means you're not letting a lot of water out every day to generate electricity. So the lake stays relatively full up to the tree level, which makes it a lot nicer to use than someone where they like Lake Shasta, where they let in a whole lot of water out in order to make electricity and water crops. I usually like to reserve a campsite before I show up, so I know I have an, a, a good one, but even if you do that, you still want to stop at the entry place and make your final payment for what you have and um, go over things and the rules and everything before you go in the lake, then you get a little thing to put in your window saying that you've paid and a little sign to put in your campsite so they know it's already taken. Um, it's sort of a simple formality and then you don't really have to stop there again when you come or go. But that's sort of your way of being um, in there. And it's changed hands about a year and a half ago. So there's new owners, they're trying to maintain it well. Um, price has gone up a little bit, but they do keep it up. Usually we set up our tent and our camp site next, although we, if we got there early before it's ready, we could go to the beach and hang out. But it's nice to have our home set up and everything ready. And yeah, the deer may come and check you out too. The next morning we decided to take the seven mile drive up to Castle Lake. It's a beautiful lake there and the road ends there. And a lot of people go there. Um, a little before there, there's a campsite that's actually by donation. 
you know, they don't collect money from people. That's a beautiful lot by the creek there. Above, about a mile or so above there, almost a thousand feet above, is another much smaller lake called Heart Lake. Like, we have a book called The Hundred Classic Hikes in Northern California. <clears throat> and the cover photo for the whole book is of Castle Craigs taken from right above Heart Lake. It is a very scenic place worth a walk if you want to go there. And, and like Castle Lake, some days if it's cool, it's cool. I've been there in a the heat wave and it's very warm and nice. Um, and again, it's more of a, it's not a motor boating lake, but it's a lake where people kayak and canoe or just swim and float in air mattresses and play around. It's a beautiful place. A lot of people day hike to Heart Lake also and go above Heart Lake. Um, this is just a picture of up along the road there. Somewhere up ahead will be the campground. And people camp at a couple places past Castle Lake, but it's really better if you don't do that. Better to keep it a little bit. Um, just pristine and a lot of people there. It's like there's a site to go down into the campground. Shasta Trinity National Forest. Castle Lake, they use there. We don't want people camping on the lake. Some people do. Oh, there is some snow. Then as you go ahead, you'll oh, notice on the left, the road will get a little bit wider. And that's some, um, like, sort of an overflow parking area that people come in the regular parking by the lake full. The then they could pull over the there and park yeah, there and maybe have shade for a while. But of course, we decided to just pull, pull, keep going right up to the lake to see how things were and you go past the restrooms. And then you do see that there's a lot of cars parked there already. And one thing from being there many times, you know when it gets filled up, people park, make a center row of parking right in the center of all the other cars. And no one had done that yet, but they got all the other parking places. So we pulled in the center and parked there. And but a minute or two later, there was already two more people next to us. So we just sort of set up the other, the other center parking there. Part of Castle Lake. Here are some pictures and video of Castle Lake. It's a nice place, a peaceful place, you know, to be in nature without motorboat zooming around you. Um, Yoo-hoo. A little breezy today. Photos from 
Heart Lake. It's a great spot. So from the lake, you can see Mount Shasta, you can see other mountains, and then you can walk further up and see um, part of Castle Craigs. And that's the backside of Heart Lake. So usually it warms up enough, it's a nice place to swim. Sometimes if there's late snow, it's not going to be as warm to swim in. And this is looking down at Castle Lake from there. This is looking across Heart Lake with Shasta in the background. Just above Heart Lake. We are now at the beach at Lake Siskiyou. And um, this is one of the views of Mount Shasta from the beach. Looking up, this is and more view of the beach and Mount Shasta. There's a lot of people um, that often hang out there during the daytime. This is sort of a view. There's different parking areas. In the weekday, you can usually park on the closer one. But they have this one lane road that um, people can drive down so if they have a lot of beach stuff and they don't want to park in the lot and carry it all down. It's a, it's a road where you don't park and leave your vehicle, but you can pull closer to the beach and get your air mattresses and your cooler and your other things out of it so you could take it to your site. A lot of people like to have little sun shades which are sort of nice. Sometimes it gets windy in the afternoon and they start blowing around and you can see how people do to, to keep them there without blowing around. And it's um, a windy day at Siskiyou Lake. You know, sort of a I'm taking a slow a walk warm. down there just to see the site. There's picnic tables around, so if you want to have a picnic near the water, you know, you can do that somewhere, then, then go on the beach. And there's a little snack shack there that has hamburgers and other things and slices of pizza. And a little store there with ice cream and stuff like that. And a rental place where they have like a water park for little kids. They can wear life jackets and go out and play in the water and play in the water thing. So they try to accommodate people of all ages and that's where you might rent a kayak and you might also rent a paddle board and things of that nature there. And here you just about at the beach. A couple of employees park their cars there but that's not for general parking. And then that little road loops around the other way and comes out so people can go out to the parking lot after and park their car. Now you get there, the splash zone, that's more of the kids' play area. And then you sort of see the beach. And there's a lot of sights right in the trees and picnic tables. We, instead of bringing a sunshade, we just hang out in the shade of the trees and grab a picnic table. It works well, and then if we want to swim, we go right down in the water and swim. And there, of course, is Mount Shasta in the background. It's always nice to see. There's the snack area, there's the volleyball court, and there's more trees where um, you can go and hang out. In the distance is the northwest shore of the lake, which you can either paddle to or you can take the circular trail around the lake and get to. And here's some photos from there. And then get, getting off there and walking around the trail around the lake and then getting off that walking up, there's a lot of beautiful wildflowers and things. There's a nice trail there. Just some nice wildflower um, photos.
The Mount Shasta City Park is a popular place just north of town on the highway you pull off. People come there for the headwaters of the Sacramento River. Top is Mount Eddy, about 9,000 feet elevation. Up at Panther Meadows, a little above 7,000 feet elevation. They don't open the road till usually later in July because it's a very fragile area. And there are some walk in campsites. Um, but overall, it's incredibly beautiful. Just please stay on the trail. There are some fragile plants that if you walk on them, it takes two to three hundred years to repair from walking on them. And it's a very beautiful place. Springs come out of the ground naturally. It's just one of the places that's just worth seeing. Now I'll turn around and get the view the other way. Wow, this is, looks like paradise. And turn around. Yeah, no, so it ended here with the water. We traveled I-5 north of Weed, California and turned off at the Edgewood Gazelle exit and then went up to the Forest Service Road to Parks Creek Road and stopped at the pass and joined the PCT and hiked to Deadfall Lakes and Mount Eddy. We did see, especially along the PCT where there was water, there's incredible wildflowers blooming all over the place. Definitely worth taking a hike just to see that, as the snow has melted recently. Eventually um, you see Deadfall Lakes, which are um, very beautiful in their own right.
Eventually, you get off the PCT a little bit as you go by Deadfall Lakes. Then you take the long hike up to Mount Eddy. You can see Mount Shasta there from Mount Eddy. And just a great view overall. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button because there's more films I'd like to show you. And I hope you enjoy this and you might come out and try some of these places out.